Hello and welcome to another update video about um, Solana. Yeah, Solana still sort of in this pattern here at the moment um, is recovering with the other cryptos, even though it's recovering a little bit weaker. Yeah, 2.7% here. And I think some other cryptos recovered much more. We can just refresh your coin market cap. Let's take a look. Um, Solana, 8 point. Okay, here on um, coin market cap, we can see 8.65%. But ADA, for example, um, recovered a little bit more. Okay, so no, 8.65% also decent, yeah. And if we take a look at the Solana chart, we are still in this, you could call it a channel, maybe even an ascending wedge, which would still be some sort of a, a bearish pattern. But you can see that in this wedge, we're moving higher and higher. So we're actually making higher lows and higher lows. We are still in a pattern, so we haven't broken out yet. That is something to be aware of. And we haven't made a higher high compared here to the previous swing high at 46.63. So that's a resistance point where I believe if we break above that, we're probably going to retest the wave one um, wave one low here at $48. So $48 would be the invalidation point for this wave count because in this wave four here, which I still have labeled as wave four, which to be fair is coming up a little bit too high, but it's still okay from my point of view com if I compare it to the size of the wave two here. So if we move above the $48.13 level, then I will change here the wave count, which wouldn't be a problem. Um, it just means that we are probably in some kind of a different wave pattern. But at the moment, Solana is the chart where I still see with the highest likelihood that the wave four, the overall wave four that we had on the chart here has ended already because it has dropped so significantly compared to other cryptocurrencies and it still unfolds here as an impulse at the moment. And I would just wait here for the wave five to the downside. We currently see here that some cryptos are moving up a little bit higher in a different wave pattern now. Um, here for Solana, that would mean that the wave, um, that the wave E of the triangle would, would be ending here and that we've only really just seen the wave one and the wave two to the upside. And that would be my alternative for now. So let's say, right, we, we say the wave E ended here and this is what I showed you in previous videos as a possible alternative scenario, that if we had that here, then really only what we've seen is wave one down here um, and that we're now in wave two up. And that could then mean we see more retracement to the upside, which still mean that we are in a wave four. And I think that is the key message, what we need to understand. We are still in a wave four. Um, oh no, we actually completed that. Um, that we, I mean, the message would be that we've completed the wave four, that we're already in an impulse down, that we're just in a wave two up, which will end and then will unfold in a further impulse down. So I remain here of my view that the um, impulse to the downside is still unfolding at the moment. I would remain here in this view with this wave count until we break above $48.13, $48.14. If we break it, I will adjust the wave count as you can see it now on the screen with the wave E here, the wave four ending here, we need to readjust a little bit, but then that would mean that here we are coming down in um, in this wave um, one, two, three, four, five, completing a wave one, that we're now in a wave two, which could retrace a little bit more. And um, as I said, if we break above that $48.13 level, this will mean a slightly changed wave count. but it still would suggest that we are already in an impulse down, um, similar to the ADA chart, even though ADA is now close to the invalidation point as well. I don't know if you've seen the ADA video, but Solana from all the cryptos I do cover looks quite weak, yeah, unless it really starts moving, if it breaks out of this wedge pattern, which it could, but bear in mind also the wedge pattern here itself is rather a bearish pattern, which of course could break out to the upside. In fact, I think they break out usually like one third of the time, to the upside, um, those ascending wedges. So the possibility is certainly there and we need to observe it very closely, but it currently in no way looks like that the absolute low for Solana would be in already. To be honest, I do hope it is in. Yeah, I do hope it, because I'd love to get back into a bull run, but it it is, in my view, it doesn't suggest it yet, especially as what we had coming up here from the wave three low to the upside here to the wave four high. This wave pattern doesn't look impulsive at all. Yeah. So we had this and then this wave down, which looks impulsive. So from my point of view, it's not that the low is already in. 
I did tell you though, and this is a very important message, that these yellow target areas that I had on the chart, they were the long-term targets that I gave you a long time ago. And whenever a cryptocurrency reached these, at any point the low can be in theoretically. The wave structure doesn't suggest it yet, but from a high level point of view, it has done what it needs to do in this overall move down. Therefore, at any point, the low can be in enough. You know, I just recommend don't fish for the lowest low. I can say that just again and again. It's up to you if you buy, of course. You know, if you found a cryptocurrency that you like, then in my opinion, these areas are the best areas to go in long term. So that is my view. Of course, there's risk in altcoins at the moment generally, and we could see another major dump. That is also what I still primarily expect. And here <clears throat> for Solana, in fact, we've got this blue target area, which is for the lower level wave count, yeah, where I now expect actually it to land in the end. And this indicates we could land between $20 and $32. Yeah, this is still what I expect. And I do hope we get there soon. I don't really want to have a longer term <clears throat> move to the upside now before we come down again. That would just prolong it all, extend it all, drain everybody out. Um, <clears throat> and this is unfortunately what we often see. You know, we, we see those markets be in a state where a lot of people are losing interest. It will get boring uh, or people are just getting frustrated. And this is unfortunately what the markets are like. And um, just always remember this and understand that it's part of these markets. It's part of financial markets in general. They are basically made to bore you out at some point, yeah, especially here in a way four that we had or maybe still are in, yeah. Um, but the message here is we are still not there. At least we don't see the evidence yet that we have seen the overall lowest low here for Solana. The potential is there. Theoretically, I would give it only a very, very low probability. Primarily, I do expect one more lower low for Solana in the area between 20 and $32, but it could be that if we break above $48.13, that I have to just adjust the wave count here a little bit, which allows short-term slightly higher prices for Solana before we then come down in the end. That is still my primary expectation, but bear in mind, the main target area from my point of view was this one here in yellow, which was reached, which we talked about already months ago, and at any point in time, the low could be in. At the moment, I give it a low probability, but it is just what it is. And this is why I look at the charts at the moment in a lot of detail. They do get invalidated frequently. That is just part of the game. But it is important to do it in order to detect the first impulsive wave up because we don't want to miss that. We want to wait for the first impulse up, the first correction down. Yeah. So that means we want to see the first five wave move to the upside and we want to see the first three wave move down with a higher low. And that is a potential entry point. You know, bear in mind, I will never tell you to buy, but this is as far as I can see it, the best signal that you will get that um, the low has been in. So a five wave move up and a three wave move down. So I'm going to keep you updated about that. Um, but Solana has a lot of work to do, yeah, to finish off the overall correction. Yeah, there are also a lot of resistance levels on the way to the upside. But of course, I'll keep you updated here about Solana. You know that on a daily basis. So hopefully you liked the update about Solana. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.